Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. Tonight I was set a challenge by my very own girlfriend to do a recipe from the Jamie Oliver 30 Minute Meal Book. Um, three courses in half an hour. So this is how I got on. Ching! Right, so I'm just about to leave work and I've been sent a challenge by my partner Becky. It reads, got ingredients for a 30 minute free course meal from your new Jamie Oliver book. When you get home, all the ingredients are ready for you. The challenge is on. Hmm, this could be fun. So. I'm gonna get home, get changed, and let's see if we can do it. Right here guys, I've literally just got home from work, still got my coat on, it's blowing a gale out there, it's really nasty weather, but I've been left a surprise gift. Here we go, a bag of shopping, a little note that says good luck, and the book itself, 30 minute meal book. <sighs> this is gonna be interesting. I can see a pineapple sticking out the bag there, so I don't know what we're gonna do with that. Anyway, I need to get into a bit more comfortable if I'm gonna at least try and do this, so let's get changed. Boom, okay then guys, feeling good, got my lucky t-shirt on. Excited, chilled out, kind of scared. I'm all good, I'm all good. Got the book. Here's the thing there, gonna open it up. Chicken skewers, satay sauce, fiery noodle salad, fruit and mint sugar. Sounds good, that looks kind of cool. All right, so apparently everything I need is in these bags or I should have it in the cupboards. Um, I think one of the first steps is normally just to get all the ingredients ready, but I'm just gonna pull it out and ju just go as I go, you know? So maybe that'll add more time, maybe less time, I don't know. It is now half past six. Cha-ching. Let's get going, guys. Ah! Right here, so the first thing it says to do is to grab a pack of chicken skewers. There's a hundred in there. I've got four. Put them in a tray full of water. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, I've just done that. Plonk them in the tray to soak. In they go. I think that stops them burning. I've done a recipe like that with it before, so uh, yeah. Woo! Right, okay, so the next thing apparently I need is like a little food processor thing. So I've got this thing called a mini chopper. Sounds rude, I know. First of all, I'm gonna get garlic and splat it. Like that, so it's nice and easy. And then peel it. Cool. And we need half of that, so just cut it in half. Okay. So that, my friends, is going in my bowl. Wicked. And now it says, have a small bunch of fresh coriander. Whoa! Where's the coriander then? What the hell's that? Mortar and pestle? Okay, so she went a little wild with the visa card. Don't need that. There's a paper in there. Don't need that. I'm gonna find out where the coriander is. Ah! Right here, it was in the fridge after all. Nice big bunch there. So we need half of that, maybe about that much there. Keep the stalks on it as well, apparently. So let me just grab our little bowl with the processor in and shove it in there. Now we need peanut butter. So get some peanut butter out, people. Yeah! Right, peanut butter, peanut butter. Ah, there it is. Right, so three heaped tablespoons of that into your pot. Woo! Nice, so I'm just putting my third spoon in. This is the nutty stuff as well, by the way. Yeah. Now we need to grab a lug of soy sauce. So, uh, lug it in. Soy sauce, lug. That's a lug, I think. Cool. Okay then, guys, so I've just got a chili, taking the top off. Apparently, just shove that straight in there as well. Now we need to grab some ginger. Ah! Okay, so it turns out we didn't actually get ourselves a fresh ginger, but we have got some ginger ground in the cupboard. So, just a little sprinkling of that in there. Not too much. Now you need to get yourself a splash of water. Like a splash. Okay, so I'm not very good with working out how much a splash of water is, so I had like, um, filled a um, Tommy Tippy cup with that much water, okay? Woo! Straight in. Amazing. So all we need now is two limes to zest. That's where they are there. I'm gonna zest them, put the juice of one of them in there, and that's what it's looking like, my friends. I'm about to blend that up any minute now. So, zest them. Boom, there we go then, guys. So nice and bold limes. That one's cut in half. The juice is gonna go in there. Cool. And then there's my zest there as well. So all the zest's going in, and the juice of one lime. So do that, please. Woo! Okay, guys, so the lime's in there. You can just see the peel there. Let's go. Wicked. Okay guys, so I've just stopped blending it. It's actually kind of like watery texture. It's good, it's good. Ooh, wow. That's amazing. Right, no time to waste. Let's move on. Ah! Right here, so this sauce is divided. One into a nice bowl and a little bit left over for a little bit later. I've wiped down the board there. Let's get our chicken out. Yeah! So that's the chicken we got. I've only got a teeny bit on the third bit there, unfortunately. So that was what chicken we got. We're just going to thread them in like that. So we're going to have two big ones and two teenier ones. Right, brilliant, they're all in there. So cut along to give yourself four skewers. 
Right, boom, that's all done. That one was really teeny, so I took a little bit off that one there. So we've got four nice chicken kebabs there. What we need to do now is grab ourselves a roasting tray and shove in the rest of the satay sauce that sat in our food processing bowl there. So let's do that. Uh huh. Right, so I plonk my satay sauce in there, cha-ching. And all I'm gonna do is grab my chicken kebabs and literally plonk them in there. Let's just start to coat them in the sauce, okay? So stick them all in there first of all, then you can play around with it. Right, so I ended up getting my hands in. Look at that, Ugh, mucky times, but it gets the flavour more in apparently. Ooh. Right, how are we doing for time? Right, okay, it's just coming up to nearly 22. We're going okay, we're going okay. I've got my grill on there, and what I need to do is just quickly sprinkle that with olive oil and then shove it in there for eight to 10 minutes, just to brown it off, and then move on to the other stuff. I'm getting out of breath. Ah! Right here, so I just added my olive oil on there. So let's plunk it in there, in the grill then, for eight to 10 minutes. That's on a real high heat. I've just filled my water in the kettle. Let's turn that on. Uh, helps if I turn the switch on, cha-ching. Boil that kettle up. Boil that kettle up, people. Ah! Right, so while I'm waiting for my kettle to boil, you can see it in the corner there, grab your lettuce, cut off the bases, give it a wash, cut it up nice and neat, and just put it in a bowl. Woo! Bum holes off. Now I'll get rid of these tatty leaves. Right, so that's looking much more prettier. Now pull off these leaves one by one, cut them in half, give them a wash. I'm not going to show you that because I get water all over the camera. Then just plonk them in a bowl. Put it to one side, apparently. Cha-ching! Right here guys, the lettuce is gone. My kettle's just finished boiling and i put the lettuce over here. Look how neat and arranged that is. How are we doing for time? Just coming up to 22. It's been 10 minutes already, ah! Okay, right, grab yourself a bowl like that and then we're gonna find our packet noodles which are in here. So, put that stem there. We need to use our boiling water in there with packet noodles. So I'm gonna do that with two hands because boiling water, I'll scold myself. Woo! Okay guys, so the noodles come in these little sheets like that. One of them is 125 grams, you need 250. So plonk two sheets in your bowl like that. And grab your kettle and cover them in boiling water. Wow. Amazing. And then apparently just get a plate. So I'll just use the one that had the noodles on, excuse that. And just plonk it on top. That's gonna sit there for six minutes and it should cook it, I hope. Right here then guys, we need to get some cashew nuts now. There's 200 grams in there, you need 100 grams. Put them into a little bag like this, this is the easiest way to do it, I find, and then we're gonna whack them with a rolling pin. So, uh, let's do that. Brilliant, they're all mashed up. Now we need to get a frying pan on to heat. Wow, that oven's hot. Wow, it's hot in here. Right, okay, this frying pan is waiting to heat, that red dot's gonna go really red and it's gonna be all good to use. So in the meantime, I've cleaned out my food processor because we need it again. Cut this red onion in half, and then also we're gonna need another chilli, okay? So, watch this. Ta da You thought I was just going to show you the onion on its own, but we've already seen me cut onions before. I've just cut them into little manageable sizes for my food processor again. In that goes, in goes the chilli and another bunch of coriander. So stuff that all in and blend it up. Woo! <laughs> Boom, that's what it's looking like. What we need to do now is grab some olive oil. Put that in there, nice big lug. A teaspoon of fish sauce. Some sesame oil, about the same amount as well. Two tablespoons of soy sauce. I'm doing this quite fast, aren't I? Sorry. I'm not normally this rushed. But we're trying to hit this 30 minutes, people. We're trying to hit it. And I should stop talking and just get on with it, yeah? Not stop like this? No. Okay. When you're lying that you had left over, get your juice of that in there as well. And in the meantime, I chuck my uh, cashew nuts in there, by the way, guys. They're toasting away nice and good. So that lime juice is in there. That one as well. Wicked. That's really hard to squeeze a lime. Really tough. Ugh. Okay, cool. Grab yourself a spoon, like this spoon. Stir it all in. Wicked. Right here, that's all done. Looking good. It's going to give it a little taste. Ooh, that's nice. Right, drain my noodles off, wash them, then drain them again. They just sat there. That's going to go in there in a minute. With your nuts, what you need to do is grab yourself a little bit of honey, add a teaspoon of it in there, apparently. So add that in there. Cool. I just checked my chicken as well, it's looking amazing by the way, so I'll show you that any minute now. Oh! Right here, so it's been two minutes and my nuts are done, smelling all golden and roasted. Gonna chuck them in my bowl. Right, so my nuts are in there, looking good. Let's add our noodles. Cha-ching. Now I need to get a spoon and give that a blooming good stir around. Boom, there we go you guys, so that's all done, all mixed together. I'm gonna plonk that over there with my lettuce and a satay sauce. How are we doing for time? Okay, 10 to 7. We need to move. Get your chicken out of the grill now. Now, now, now. Boom, that's our chicken skewers out. They're looking good. Look at that. Amazing. Right, so we need to flip them over and then brush them with honey and shove them back in. So let's do that quickly. Okay, guys, so I've just glazed the chicken in a bit of honey. That's going straight back in the grill now, in there. Cha-ching. About 8 to 10 minutes. Then we're going to get our pineapple out. In the meantime, bring it all together. 
Whew, and then we can eat. Yeah. Okay, grab yourself a flat surface and your pineapple. Cha ching Now we're going to take the lid off and then slice it downwards all the way around, working it to create little slices and get rid of this tag. Ooh. Amazing, look at all that pineapple. Let's arrange it on the plate nice and neat. Boom, now you add your blueberries if you got them, but I think Becky went and bought raspberries. Yeah, there we go, so uh, add those. Boom, that looks great. And the chicken, it smells amazing by the way. Got my mortar and pestle there with uh, three tablespoons of sugar and some mint. Got to grind away there till we get a nice little paste, which we're gonna just drizzle over the pineapple. Let's do that, get to use this for the first time. Hello, yeah. Okay, so just ground that up, I'm just gonna sprinkle a tablespoon of that minty sugar over the pineapple and apparently you can keep the rest. Wow, that looks kind of cool, like a snowy effect. Amazing. Now we're just going to get a lime and get the juice of that over it as well. That is done, my friends. We just need to get our chicken out. And we're doing all right. Right here then, so I've halved the lime there. I'm just going to squeeze the juice in there. Cool. Just want to get that all on there. Just about half of one. And you can even garnish it with a little bit of a lime slice there like that if you want. Well, it looks kind of lonely on its own, but we'll leave it there. That's all good. Right. Let's take that to the table now too. And I'm going to serve that apparently with some... Uh, Coconut yogurt, which is uh, kind of cool. That goes there. What's the time? Oh god! Right, we've got what, about one or two minutes left. Let's get that chicken out. That's been enough time, my friends, and it smells amazing. Ah, we've done it. Cool. Boom. There we go, then, guys. Still sizzling out the oven. That's probably a bit of the honey burning off there. Look at the colour on that, and it smells amazing. Let's get it on the table with the rest of our stuff and survey what we've made. Amazing. Boom. So that was what we're aiming for. And if you just check this out. That is not a bad effort. Cha-ching, plus our pudding. Done in just under half an hour. It's just gone seven now, because I'm sitting down with the book, just trying to slum it all up. Amazing, I'm not gonna show you what it tastes like, because that's where you come in and you've got to try it, because if I can make that, absolutely anyone in the world can. It smells amazing. So thanks, Jamie, for the recipe. Have a go, try it, let me know how you get on, and I will see you again on the next video. Cheers. High five.